Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and once again you join me here at the Fort Park Resort, more specifically the Fort Shark Cabins, the on-site accommodation here at Fort Park. And that's because today, as I promised, I'm checking out the brand new themed rooms. Obviously, I think literally the last video I uploaded to this channel was me checking out the brand new stealth rooms, which are actually located literally just below me. I don't know if I can get the camera down there. Probably not, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, the stealth rooms are literally underneath me right now. And of course, previous to that, the first ever themed rooms to be introduced here to the Fort Shark Cabins was the Swarm Rooms. And yeah, today the brand new ones have just been completed. Um, I think literally from tomorrow, you can actually stay in these rooms. So check the link down in the description if you do want to come and stay in your very own Nemesis Inferno room. That's right. Now, the entire lower level of this uh, side of the Shark Cabins where you can look out over the park itself. Look at that beautiful view. Um, yeah, that entire lower level is now filled with uh, themed rooms. You've got Stealth and Swarm down there. And now upstairs, you've got three beautiful Nemesis Inferno rooms. And just like the other ones, of course, the door is themed. Very, very nice indeed. And yeah, today I'm gonna head in and show you around the room. Now, just like the other rooms, with this room, you do, of course, get your wristband, which gives you unlimited fast track to any ride in the park for the first hour of your day from 10 to 11. And then for the rest of the entire day, you get unlimited fast track on Nemesis Inferno. So you can go on Nemesis Inferno again and again and again. Obviously, myself and Archie Deves, when we stayed in the swarm room, went on the swarm 40 times in one day using that wristband. But yeah, let's uh, quit talking and go and check out the Nemesis Inferno room. Let's head in. So yeah, just like the other ones and just like all of these other videos that I filmed, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just give you a kind of overview of the entire room. I feel like I'm so loud in here compared to outside. But yeah, let's take a look at the entire room. Look at this. I'm absolutely fuming because in my stealth video, I actually forgot to turn the LEDs off. So it didn't look quite as good. But yeah, obviously all of the rooms do come with these little LED strips up there. I just forgot to turn it on in the stealth one. So yeah, I feel like a good place to start. We're here, you are right, guys. Um, just like before with the stealth rooms is to head into the bathroom. Unfortunately, we haven't got a funny uh, pun on this uh, bathroom door, but we have got a beautiful visual of the uh, Nemesis Inferno volcano. Look at that. Right, let's head in here and shut the door. You may notice, unfortunately today, I'm not joined by anyone. Normally I have like a special guest in these videos. I've had Archie Deeds and Arch Nemesis, but uh, unfortunately Arch Nemesis refused to come into the Nemesis room. He obviously slates off Nemesis Inferno. He's much more of a fan of the original Nemesis, but those true fans know that Inferno is the better one, don't we? Even though Nemesis is getting retracked, it still won't be quite as good as Inferno. I hope John Burton's not watching this video. But yeah, let's take a look at the bathroom. Um, kind of just like the stealth room, we've got a really kind of um, nice visual on this wall. Um, whereas the swarm one, you kind of had loads of like little individual posters. But I'm a big fan of this like just massive visual. Really nice. Probably easier to see if I show you in the mirror. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely awesome. And yeah, that's our bathroom. Again, you've got a toilet and a shower all in this kind of one room. You can do everything you need to. Let's head back out into the main living area. Now, of course, one of the biggest kind of visuals in this room is um, on the bunk bed. This can actually fold down if you need another person to sleep in these rooms. But yeah, in this Nemesis room, it obviously says red hot 360 degrees. And yeah, that was, of course, one of the main kind of marketing kind of signage uh, phrases that are used. Um, back when this ride opened, back in 2003. Can't believe how old Nemesis Inferno is. 20 years old, absolutely insane. And then yeah, another huge visual in this room is obviously above the double bed and you've got this gorgeous, uh, like original marketing image of Nemesis Inferno and it looks amazing with the red LEDs. Obviously these do cycle through all of the colors, but it looks extra good with that red one. So yeah, it literally feels like you're sleeping in the jungle right next to Nemesis Inferno, the best inverted coaster in the country. <laughs> and then, yeah, as always, the main kind of Easter eggs for these rooms are located down here on these drawers. So let's take a look at these. So we've got the original logos for the ride, which is really cool to see. I hadn't even seen some of these um, before I came in this room. So yeah, that's really cool. Obviously, 
when a new ride gets built, they have to go through so many different like testing phases and concepts and different designs. And yeah, they eventually landed on the one that we know and love today up in this top corner. I have to say, I'm a fan of some of these other um, kind of designs. Though. This one's like, obviously really similar to the um, Alton Towers one. It's just got Inferno stuck down underneath it. And then down here, we've got the marketing key visual, which is cool to see. That's obviously like the photo that they use to advertise a ride and all that stuff. And then down this last one, we've got um, kind of uh, some film from the advert. One of my favorite facts about that advert in particular is that um, Ross Gaines, of course you guys know Ross from the videos, he was actually there filming on that day. So he, he got to ride Nemesis and he was part of the advert. I don't know if you can actually see him in the final cut of the advert, but he was there filming. So you might be able to spot him in the advert for Nemesis Inferno. Very cool, what a legend Ross is. And then yeah, down on this one, on the other side of the um, kind of drawers, We've got the project name, of course, Project Calypso. That is just like what Project Exodus currently is. Obviously, uh, that's kind of what it was known as by the builders and the designers and the construction crew. And then obviously once it's ready to be announced, it was uh, revealed to be called Nemesis Inferno. So yeah, very cool. You've got some nice concept designs on here again with uh, 2003 down at the bottom. Absolutely awesome. It really does make you appreciate just how cool this ride is like themed. Because obviously, if you go over to America and you ride some of their like B&M inverts, the same type of ride as Nemesis Inferno, they're just so basic. Like you've just got Batman, the ride, cloned at pretty much every Six Flag park over in America. And it's just, it's just not the same. Whereas here in the UK, they literally built an entire volcano and jungle um, to kind of theme this ride. So yeah, it's really cool. And this room makes you appreciate just how cool um, the theming for that ride actually is because often you don't even notice there's like a big volcano and you just kind of queue up it mindlessly, but it actually is sick. Um, and then yeah, on the door, of course, I always love what they do with these signs. So on this side, we've got putting our feet on ice, do not disturb. That's, that obviously should be facing out right now. And then yeah, on the other side, we've got um, gone to face our nemesis, come on in. Yeah, very cool indeed. I think that is pretty much the whole room. Oh, how can I forget the beautiful coffee machine? Of course, all of the theme rooms come with these cool coffee machines. Where you've got your hot chocolate and all of your um, espresso kind of pods that you can have from your machine. Very cool. So yeah, that is the brand new Nemesis Inferno room. As I said, I believe on the day that I'm filming this, um, you'll literally be able to stay in this room from tomorrow. So. At the point that this video is out, you should be able to book your very own stay in the Nemesis Inferno rooms. And as I said, you get unlimited fast track all day on your second day on Nemesis Inferno. So yeah, if you're a big fan of Nemesis, obviously you can't ride the original at the moment. They're currently rebuilding it up in Forbidden Valley at Alton Towers. So if you miss Nemesis and you want to get back on a good B&M invert, the best one in the country, then uh, book yourself a stay here in the Inferno room. And yeah, make sure you make the most of all of that unlimited fast track. Now, as for when the next kind of themed room tour will be, I'm not too sure. Um, obviously this one and the stealth room kind of popped up quite quickly. So keep an eye on Fort Park social channels to be notified um, as and when they announce any new rooms. And obviously I'll be tweeting about it and putting it on my Instagram. And as soon as there is a new one announced, I'll be sure to come and film a video showing you guys that room. I would love to see a Project Exodus room. How cool would that be? Obviously once the ride opens, I think that would be a brilliant idea. So I'm very much gonna pitch that to Fort Park. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys would wanna stay in a Project Exodus themed room. Obviously it won't be called the Project Exodus themed room, it will be whatever the ride's gonna be called. Um, but I'm sure there'll be so many like Project Exodus Easter eggs. But yeah, leave a comment down below with what themed room you want to see next. Obviously for me, it's Project Exodus, but let me know any others. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching yet another Fort Park video. Be sure to subscribe for even more Fort Park and general theme park content. The Fright Nights Behind the Scenes documentary is so nearly done, guys. So that'll be coming out very soon. Be sure to keep an eye on the channel for a trailer coming very soon. Um, but yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Jack Silkstone. Good.